the geometric sequence a sub i is defined by the formula, where the first term, a sub one, is equal to negative one eighth. And then every term after that is defined as being, so a sub i is going to be two times the term before that. So a sub i is two times a sub i minus one. What is a sub four? The fourth term in the sequence. And pause the video and see if you can work this out. Well, there's a couple of ways that you could tackle this. One is to just directly use these formulas. So we could say that a sub four, well, that's going to be this case right over here. A sub four is going to be equal to two times a sub three. Well, a sub three, if we go and use this formula, is going to be equal to two times a sub two. Each term is equal to two times the term before it. And then we can go back to this formula again and say a sub two is going to be two times a sub one. Two times a sub one. And lucky for us, we know that a sub one is negative one eighth. So it's going to be two times negative one eighth, which is equal to negative one fourth. Negative one fourth. And so this is negative one fourth. So two times negative one fourth is equal to negative two fourths or negative one half. And so a sub four is two times a sub three. A sub three is negative one half. So this is going to be two times negative one half, which is going to be equal to negative one. So that's one way to solve it. Another way to think about it is, look, we have, we have our initial term, and we also know our common ratio. We know each successive term is two times the term before it. So we could, we could explicitly, this is a recursive definition for our geometric series, but we could explicitly write it as a sub i is going to be equal to our initial term, negative one eighth, and then we're going to multiply it by two we're going to multiply it by two i minus one times. So we could say times two to the i minus one power. Let's make sure, let's make sure if that let's make sure that makes sense. So a sub one, based on this formula, a sub one would be negative one eighth times two to the one minus one, two to the zeroth power. So that makes sense. That would be negative one eighth. Based on this formula, a sub two would be negative one eighth times two to the two minus one, so two to the first power. So we're gonna take our initial term and multiply it by two once, which is exactly right. A sub two is negative one fourth. And so if we wanna find the fourth term in the sequence, we could just say, well, using this explicit formula, we could say A sub four is equal to negative one eighth times two to the four minus one two to the four minus one power. And so this is equal to negative one eighth times two to the third power. And so this is negative one eighth times eight. Negative one eight, one negative one eighth times eight, which is equal to negative one. And you might be a little bit a toss up on which method you wanna use, but for sure this second method right over here where we come up with an explicit formula once we know the initial term and we know the common ratio, this would be way easier if you were trying to find say the 40th term because doing the 40th term recursively like this would take a lot of time and frankly a lot of paper.